If I were to ask you what your most valuable resource was, I don't think most people would say money or really anything you can buy with money. I think most people understand that time is incredibly valuable. But I think there is something even more valuable than time. I think that attention is your most valuable resource. Because without someone's attention, you can't really have their time. John Verveke talks about this when he says that attention is the primary way in which we are connected to reality. And I think that's very profound because our attention is what fills our consciousness. In other words, what we are, what we pay attention to is what fills our awareness. It, it, what, we're, what we are paying attention to is what we are aware of. And what we are aware of becomes our subjective experience of reality. And as far as I can tell, that seems very true. But if that is the case, what does that exactly mean for us? So a good example of like how someone can have your time but not your attention, like, I mean, how often are you at work or talking to someone or with your kids or just doing something but you don't really have, you're not really paying attention? As we've talked about recently, we're often asleep to this. We are unconscious that we have a non-stop dialogue playing in our head that keeps us either in the past or in the future playing out hypotheticals or reliving the past in this asleep mindset, in this place where we're not understanding how important attention is, we are rarely present. We're off living in a hypothetical that will never actually happen or we're rehashing the past and we're rarely ever present. And I'm, I'm not saying that we can't learn from the past and that we shouldn't prepare for the future, but that's often not what our internal dialogue is talking about. It's usually talking about things that are generally useless. And how much time should we be dedicating to think about the past? Or how much time should we be playing out hypotheticals thinking that we're planning for the future when we're missing out on what is actually real, which is in the present moment? I think we spend way too much time in the abstract and we're completely missing putting our attention on the only thing that is actually real, which is the, which is the present moment. So the idea of attention comes to a point, at least for me, with, with two terms or two concepts. And the first concept is that what we pay attention to most is what we worship. And I think that's somewhat profound if you think about it. And the, and the second one is an, a term or a concept that we have given to describe the relationship that a lot of us have to our phones. And that term is constant partial attention. So for a lot of us, social media, the news, articles, blogs, whatever, are constantly part of what we're giving attention to. We're always giving partial attention to our phone, to the internet through our phone that's always in our pocket. And so despite our best efforts, we're always going to be slightly removed from the present situation because our attention is partially, constantly partially pulled to our phones. And for me, kind of the pinnacle is as a dad, I do not want to be constantly partially separate from the present moment with my kids. And it especially breaks my heart to think that they are feet away from me, watching me pour over my phone and give all my attention to a phone, to an inanimate object that is giving me access to a reality that's not even real. It's fake. And it looks like I'm worshiping it because that's where my attention is going. And I don't think I'm terrible at this. I really try and keep my phone in my pocket, but it's the idea of constant partial attention that's really getting at me. Now, I'm not an expert. I'm honestly just thinking out loud on this because I find it interesting 
and I hope you do too, but in summary, I do think Verveke has a point. I think that our attention is the primary way in which we interact with reality. And if that's the case, it's incredibly important. And I wanted to tie that into a stream of thought that I've been having. And so try and follow my, my logic here. And um, I'd love to know your thoughts on this. So if spirituality, the spiritual practices that we have, is awakening, those are a means to awaken to reality. And if spirituality is awakening and awakening takes us to awareness, awareness of reality, awareness of what really is. If that's the whole purpose of our spiritual practice is to awaken and to be aware. And if being awake is awareness. And if attention is then what fills that awareness, then attention is incredibly important. And that's kind of the whole purpose behind this video. So to put it more simply, if spirituality is awakening and awakening leads us to awareness and if attention is what fills our awareness, then I think that attention and understanding attention is incredibly important for waking up, for this process of what I think I'm trying to do, and if you're watching this video, I assume it's what you want to do as well. So, I don't know. If that <laughs> that train of thought made sense to you, let me know. If you disagree, also let me know. But I really appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.